you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe, and if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. All right, Sarah, your stupid news today brought to you as it is every day by Driscoll Law Firm. Family law, injury law, get Driscoll.com. Oh, a woman claims she's married to Michael Jackson's ghosts. <laughs> uh, he's uh, right inside of her mind, apparently. Oh, it's boy. kind of an interesting marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, uh, by the way, for those of you that uh, may be skeptical of hearing such a thing, just want you to know she also claims that she is Marilyn Monroe's reincarnate. So oh. in another life, oh. she was uh, Marilyn Monroe. So Marilyn Monroe and Michael Jackson in some... Parallel universe are married, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, she's Marilyn Monroe, or at least was in another life, and is currently married to the ghost, uh, of, Michael know, the ghost of Michael Jackson. So there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. He, hey, it could happen. It yeah. could happen in this crazy world and the stuff that we're experiencing right now. Mm-hmm. It could happen. Sure. He loves to eat cookies. Uh, he actually swears and cusses a lot more than anyone oh, would expect him to. Really? Oh, so yes. she describes her yeah. her ghostly husband. Pretty nice. And okay. uh, doesn't like to be touched. And he'll scare her with spider visions and visions of corpses uh, if she tries to initiate romance. Tell you, to tell you the truth, that's the most realistic sounding thing I've heard thus far. <laughs> what the heck? Whoa. Uh, on a completely different but similar note, yeah. uh, the Patriots have a defensive back named Michael Jackson. And last night, I about rolled out of bed laughing. Uh, Scott Zolak, every time he'd make a nice play, he'd go, hee hee. <laughs> It was it was beautiful. Bob Sosi said, "That's a pretty lame impression." Oh, <laughs> oh I'm man. telling you, the two of them oh. are as opposite as <laughs> they can be. <laughs> Zo is just an amazing sports broadcaster. He yeah. really is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think his Michael Jackson was pretty good. Okay, all yeah. right, good. I wouldn't go so far as to say that Zo was possessed by Michael Jackson, but. <laughs> Good nonetheless. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Governor. I want to go with Governor Sununu on one of his Super 603 days. I mean, it sounds like so much fun. He did it again yesterday, right? The Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train were very jealous. I would both, <laughs> Sarah and I just, you know, we have the, the, the we have the red phone. We have the bat phone. We do, right here uh, in the Shark Tank. You know, the governor was, was coming into Stratford County. We talked to him all the time. He's touring Stratford County with a Super 603 day. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. sounds like the greatest day that ever was. It was the best tour ever. How come right. he didn't invite us along? I don't know. I can, I can see what the deal is. I, it's yeah. fine. Where did he go? Rise and Grind in Durham. Oh, Bobby's you know, Place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was there, you know, drinking coffee. I believe they had, had some bacon, talking over small business and stuff. I know they ended up uh, in uh, Milton at the Powder Mill Hatchery. I love that place. They went to uh, Rochester right there at the Opera House. My I, goodness, they were right in your hood. Yeah. Yeah. Then they went over to Farmington Butternut, which is right on the Farmington line, Butternut Farm. They just unveiled the Ginger Golds and uh, Zestar Apples Man. for Pick Your Own. Oh, my God. And you then get he's so there. excited it's, for that. I know. This is like the perfect day. <laughs> I was dotted with the Lickies and Chewies. Lickies what? and Chewies. They, they went to Lick- Yeah, and then they, they had uh, lunch at uh, La Festa. Oh, my and they, God. He was, like, right next door. Stripe Nine Brewery what? in Summersworth. Literally, they just they went to, like, my hood and then all the great places around here. All, you know, just talking about, uh, you know, the, how the fall is coming and what people are thinking about, uh, you know, their small business and, yeah. you know, the upcoming days. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I could have avoided that. I just would have liked to have tagged along. What do you, you mean? Know? Avoided all well, the yeah, conversations I wasn't, about business? Yeah, exactly. I wasn't, yeah, I'm not going to be. You would have eaten apples and bacon yeah, exactly. and drank coffee. I wouldn't have interrupted any sort of businessmen <laughs> and business people's, uh, business <laughs> women's, uh, you know, what am I doing? Strategizing about business? I'm just there to eat apples and bacon. Yeah. I don't know. You could. You would. Pizza. You could be a very good strategizer, I think, Train. Oh, if I'll, you really put your head into it, you could be. I don't know. I'd probably oh, yeah. listen, nod my head, look like I'm... <laughs> Inside my inside monologue, going, I have no idea what any of these words mean. Man, this is a great apple. <laughs> I wonder, oh. I wonder what time we're going to go for pizza. <laughs> Blondie coming up. The <laughs> day it was yesterday, huh, train? Yes. Whoa. The, it's funny it because, uh, yeah, it would it would not rain. Then all of a sudden, look out. It was like. I know. <laughs> the worst of uh, both worlds or whatever Oof. was really, really coming down when it came I down. I know. Bands know. of heavy tropical rains. Yep, yep. Uh, checking out shark1053.com, Sarah. Of course, you know, I am a forest ranger train, and uh, I, I love stories like this. Uh, when people interact with the different creatures in our midst, yes. and uh, Batman, he is a uh, police officer who answers to Batman because of his ability, his incredible ability, to uh, trap 
and, you know, uh, wrangle bats and release them into the wild Mm -hmm. uh, in the Portsmouth area. Uh, I guess so. uh, This is the guy that I'm going to call the next time that I have a bat in my house. I think so. I think you need to call uh, Officer Chavez. Uh, He's like the bat whisperer of Portsmouth. No uh, kidding. Sure enough, right there, you know, in the neighborhood several times, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people. You got a bat, and the thing is with the bats, it's it's so much as is finding them. You know, it's easy when they're when they're flying around, and you've got the proper nettage to kind of uh, net them and bring them out. Do we really have to revisit my bat trauma that it, happened not too long ago? I know. Oh, train! That was <laughs> so bad. You had a big one. You had like a four pounder. Oh God! It was a brown bat, and all of a sudden. My husband, I was in bed. It was like, I don't know, 7.30. I'm in bed by 7.30 because that's what you do when you work these hours. But yeah. anyway, and all of a sudden I hear him freaking out and it's not football season. So that's <laughs> the only other time that he yells. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So I go in the kitchen. And he's like, we have a bat. We have a bat. I'm like, okay, well, just okay. Wow. So we got that one out of there and then it returned. Yeah. No, that's the thing is that you, uh, once you get one and if you're in that, cause you're right in the woods there in Raimondo. Yeah. And I think that what happened was I, we let it escape and it flew off and then we held each other and cried. Uh-huh. And after that, I think it, um, flew back in. I think it was like, <laughs> it screw likes you. It. Yeah. Right. I'm going back in the way I came in, you know, it's a nice house. It's a nice house. <laughs> I'm going back in because the second time it showed up, it looked like the exact same bat. Yeah. It, oh which which God. is rare to get one that for a for a little New England brown bats there that thing was a oh. monster that was like the Andre the Giant of bats so I could have I should have could have should have would have called uh, telling you Officer, Officer Chavez, Chavez he would have he would have taken it you'd probably never would have seen him again because it wouldn't like the next town over he has some secret place in the wilderness I think that he yeah. uh, releases them and that's yeah. that's the key is to distance you just don't want to like open the window and do it because yeah because you get like the uh, the boomerang effect it'll just come back in yes yeah, yeah it it totally did it totally mm-hmm. did but I. I will never forget the screeching sound of, you know, uh-huh. his of him when I put him because I didn't want to kill it. Yep. So I put it in a bucket and then I put like something to, you know, an album or something to trap it inside this bucket. And the screeching sound that poor thing made <laughs> to try and get out was just it was it was the thing. It was the stuff of my nightmares. Yeah. It really was. I've heard them. They, they'll they do little clicks and stuff to get around. But I've never heard them do utter Screech? a scream of. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it was the scream of yeah. death. <laughs> I mean, directors in Hollywood have tried to capture that exact sound for horror movies. <laughs> Tell you, Officer oh, Chavez. They, uh, him a ring. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to put him on speed dial right now. <laughs> if you ask someone, how are you doing? And they say. I'm fine. Oh, they're not fine. It's 652. It's Friday. Uh, I, I, I feel fine. The end of the world was, you know, what, and I feel fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think people are going to really feel fine because it's Friday. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today mm-hmm. is a good day, I think. <laughs> Anywho, uh, you had a good Facebook question today, Train. Yeah. I'm rather proud of this one. Uh, did a little switcheroo. Name a movie that was better than the book that inspired it. Now, you know, one of my pet peeves, I don't. I have many pet peeves. Pe- <laughs> I have a million pet peeves. Yeah, you do. But uh, one of them is when people say, oh, you know, the book was much better than the movie. <laughs> you hear that and you go, oh, aren't you smart? Yeah, huh? right. Exactly. What are you, some sort of an intellectual or something? <laughs> so I'm going to go with the uh, movie that was better than the book that inspired it because I could think of quite a few right off the top of my like head. Like what? Oh, Because uh, I was trying to think of this and I really can't think of any. Poor Stephen King. Stephen King, you know, part of my favorite author. Unfortunately, what happened is a lot of people take his incredible stories mm-hmm. and turn them into, you know, a, a movie that's even better. Shawshank Redemption, for for instance, Marilyn agrees with me there. Shawshank Redemption. Uh, if you read it, it's a, one of them is his compilation uh, novels. It's a short story, and it doesn't even compare. The movie's ten, uh, okay. ten times better. All right, um, Joe. Says the Godfather. Aha, very good. Mario Puzo's Godfather. If you read that, it has some very strange uh, character lines that go off into nowhere that have nothing to do with the movie. And, of course, the movie is an all-time classic. Mm. Uh, Amber says Girl Interrupted. Girl Interrupted was okay. better than the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, Aaron, E-R-I-N, says Fried Green Tomatoes. Okay. To which okay. I belt I out. I guess I... What? To Wanda. Oh, right. <laughs> was that in Fried Green Tomatoes? Yeah. yeah. I guess it was. I guess I would have to read more to actually, you know, participate in this. Oh. <laughs> you know, the book. 
The book was far worse than the movie. I just I, I just kind of would do a switcheroo. So yeah, you check that out at Facebook.com slash Shark Morning Show. And, of course, the Shark app right there on the Messenger. It's, it's kind of fun, you know? If thing, you want yeah. some movie suggestions for the weekend, maybe go back. You know what I'm doing? Uh, speaking of movies, I am... Going back, and and this is the opposite. This is actually, I'm going to use that phrase that you hate so much. (laughs) The books were so much more in-depth and so much better than the actual movies. And the movies were unbelievable is the Harry Potter series. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, I love both of them. I'm not dissing the movies at all. They're Mm -hmm. so enthralling. And uh, I'm watching them again. Oh, nice. That's always fun to do. Yeah, yeah. They have those, um, like the marathon weekends will get to you, though, because there's so many commercials. So it's better just with today's technology to, yeah. to do the real oh, thing. Oh, I've, uh, yeah. I've got them all lined up there on one of the platforms that I oh, have because, sweet. you know, I just keep giving money to these TV people. <laughs> you got something new? Fine. Here you go. Here's your 10 bucks a month. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, it's uh, Survivor. We got Eye of the Tiger. Getting your 708. It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah in A Train. Hope you're having a good Friday so far. Far. We've got a gift certificate for you for Sullivan Tire if you solve the brain strain. Rocking the brain strain, yeah, on your Friday morning, uh, Sullivan Tire. We're here to get you there, family owned and operated. And uh, this is this is quite shocking to me. Since 2019, New Englanders have been doing this less, actually about 20% less. New Englanders have been doing this less since 2019 this activity All right, so we're talking a, the we're talking yeah. the pandemic yeah so it's something that we do less yeah and, and it's shocking to you yeah i would think it would be the opposite i think it'd be absolutely the opposite um yep. is it watch tv aha it is not uh watching of the tv the binge watching no boy because uh yeah that one's gone up <laughs> wow yeah <laughs> i've really i've watched so much tv i think i've watched all of netflix and Good thing they keep coming out with new ones, like Peacock Plus. You yeah. know what gets me upset, though, is when you have something for free and then they do the Plus thing. Oh, you, oh yeah. You, it's not just HBO you have. There's also HBO Plus. Okay. But you have to pay for it. So that, that premiere will have a bit of a price oh, hike. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. It is also not purchasing of uh, pl- entertainment platforms. All right. Yeah. This thing we do 20% less mm-hmm. since the pandemic. Yeah, since, since, since 2019. 2019. Right. New Englanders. What is it? 877 shark Give it a shot. If you get the answer we're looking for, you get the gift certificate to Sullivan Tire. No relation. We are going to dance. <laughs> 723. Bootsy Collins and his bass line in that one. It's just, it's uh, unbelievable. Oh, I know. Can I just uh, reminisce for one moment? <laughs> I, you, love, uh, I, I love the Bootsy Collins story. Oh I love God. it. I love the quote. Oh, my God. Hey, baby, how you doing? Is that what he said? I yeah. don't really remember. Hey, yeah, baby. A... I remember he called me baby. Hey, yeah. baby. Oh, uh, That's God. wonderful. He had a big, huge purple uh, outfit on and this big, massive purple uh, hat. Yeah. And, you know, these stars for glasses. It was unreal. That was Red Carpet Staples Center Grammys, right? L.A. Oh. I know. Oh. Just I know. I just, I've been so fortunate. Man. I, mean, I just can't believe that that's I even a, went. That's the story of all time right there. It's really yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so enough about Bootsy. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we get the brain strain going on right now. Yeah, this is a shocking, shocking new survey of New Englanders and uh, their behaviors in this year of 2021. Uh, this has actually dropped off. This activity has dropped off 20% in this year of 2021. What is it? Eight seven seven forty five shark Good morning. What's your guess? My guess is playing Twister with your sister. No. <laughs> How about getting drunk with your friends? <laughs> I is, think that's it. I that, think that's it. That. <laughs> there we go. That's it. This is something. This is what I think is happening because I'm analyzing the numbers. I'm trying to put my own spin on it. Just from like I heard from uh, the waste management guys that they've never seen so many booze bottles in their life when they would do the recycling runs uh, during 2020. Mm-hmm. And I think what happened was. Everybody's binge drinking went to like 90% and then like the year started and then things started opening up again and people said, I've really got to change my behavioral situation <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's, it's gone from 71% uh, down, you know, binge drinking overall, uh, you know, every other day gone down from uh, 71% down to uh, 53 for men, 72 down to 51 for women. Wow. So, uh, yeah, people are just, I think last year they just absolutely drank as much as they could ever drink. 
drink. And then this year, I think they're sticking to. Do you notice that uh, people younger than you? I've noticed that the people younger than me don't drink as much as I did when I was their age. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad thing they you don't know, say about me, but I'm putting it right out there. I mean, when I was like in my 30s, forget about it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I uh, mean, wow. Yeah, it's probably it's, it's about the same. I would say. I would. I'd say it's maybe it's about the same. About the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's funny. That's pretty good. All right, yeah. so, all right, Sully. Oh my god. I mean, you were there for a lot of it. Oh yeah. That's I think good. I came in one New Year's Eve. Somebody drove me to the station because I insisted that I had to go back to the station. And some the people that were on the air at the time put me on the air. Oh, yeah. I, were you there for that? I, I think, think you may have been there. I think so, that. yeah. I, I, and I don't think that's a breaking any law. If you were running the board, it would I would be breaking yeah, some not. sort of FCC. I was visiting yeah. at yeah. like 1230 yeah. at night. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. After the ball dropped and everything. It was like, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Def Leppard coming up next. Did you... Said your mother told Leona all I could give you was a reputation. <laughs> well, you know, it's a kid from Long Island, you know. It's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. And uh, so a lot of people do grocery shopping on the weekend. And, yeah, money is just, the prices at the grocery store have gone sky high. Sky yes. high. I don't know wh- what's going on because oh. you hear shortages and aluminum shortages. And then we had that meat shortage and everything. And mm. I don't know. It's just uh, inflation situation times 10. Yeah, it really is. Well, I've given a few tips right there on the Shark app. I find that these are helpful to me. If you shop more often, I think that makes a difference. Okay. Because if you just shop on the weekend and you try and think, unless you're very, very organized, which I am not, so it works for me if I shop more often. Okay. I just go, you know, more than one time. Because if I try and just plan in my head a week ahead, okay, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever, it just doesn't work. And I end up buying a whole bunch of things that go bad or I never use. Yes. I, yeah, I could see that. Absolutely. Because, yeah, when you buy it in bulk, all of a sudden you're forgetting about stuff. Whereas this, you're buying the things that you can utilize now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So I find that's helpful. Also, uh, generic brands, we talked about that yesterday. It's definitely where it's at. Uh, also, get in the coupon game. I admire those people who actually use the coupons. Uh-huh. You can get them right online. There's all kinds of apps that you can help you. Yeah. I get so jealous of these people. I'm like, Sarah, why don't you just do it? Yes. You're a smart person. Why don't you just do it? I've seen whenever somebody oh. has got them at the end, I'll sit there and look at the uh, screen as they're, and I'm going, you got to be kidding me. They just, they just, you know, st- just like stole 25 bucks, you know, but it, I mean, they, it's, you're just, all you got to do is get the coupons. They didn't steal it. No. Right. They just did it's, their it's legal. work. But that's just it. I'm just like, oh man, mm-hmm. I get so jealous. You do have to sign up for a bunch of, uh, you know, apps and give an email. But a lot of people create another email just for those kinds of things. Oh. So you don't have to give them your working email. Okay. Or the one that you go to all the time. I like that. Just create another, like, Gmail account or whatever. Yeah, a little coupon burner. Yeah. That's it. You <laughs> that's can do nice. the train way. Check out the discount rack. <laughs> I love that. Especially if you have uh, kids. You know, you can do that. Love it. Also, another tip. Uh, use the smaller cart. It's really going to help. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of the yeah, big one. I would think if you're, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the little guy. Yeah, on the wheels. Yep. I was thinking I do that too. Sometimes I'll be like, you know what? Today's a basket day. <laughs> <laughs> Got the old red bin and uh, I'm not going to, obviously not going to go overboard there. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, you get those those baskets, but then you've got the smaller carts too. Yeah, yeah, which little... I like because you can navigate in the store. Yep. You know, easily. Yeah, and it's not uh, you're not going to completely load it down with the four hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely depends on your family. I mean, I've seen women, and I tend to give them. I used to give them high fives back when you could touch people. You know, <laughs> but we're out of the touchy phase of, <laughs> of right now. Yeah. Um, but if they've got a couple kids and they've got like those, you know. Fun carts, fun mm-hmm. carriages for the kids, and they're you know pretending to drive the thing and all that. Yeah, I always give them like a you know, been there, girl. Uh-huh. You're doing an amazing job. Good for you or guys, you know, if it's the dad or whatever. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but um, I yeah. love I love your biggest tip of all, Sarah. Too, what? I love that because uh, oh, I I'll steal it from you. It's uh, never go to the store hungry. I don't know what's going on. If I go to the store hungry, and in my mind, I turn into a uh, a, a chef. I say, oh, I'm going to do this and do a wonderful medley of this with this and this with it. You know, and then you just end up with a freezer full of stuff that sits there for four months. Right. I don't know. I think I'm, uh, you know, uh, Jacques Pepin or Anthony Bourdain or something. (laughs) Once I get in there with a full stomach and I'm just, oh, I'll have a medley of spinach. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. (laughs) No. 
No, it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> Check them out right there with the shark out. In the Hollywood, the heart of the entertainment world. Train track celebrities. <laughs> Uh, oh, boy, this is something else. The Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. And uh, let me tell you, Britney Spears, she, mm-hmm. it's a poor woman. She can't go 10 hours without uh, having the number one headline poor Brit- in the Brit. world of entertainment news. What the heck is going on with this girl? Can't there, she have a boring day? I know what. She uh, had a battery complaint filed against her, allegedly uh, against like her housekeeper. And I went, oh, well, this is this is awful news. This is, so you read into it. And uh, she slapped... Not the but the cell phone. She slapped a cell phone out of uh, this person's hand. Yeah, that that's actually in the allegations. So that's not even from her side. And I'm telling you, from all of this uh, conservatory stuff going on with the whole family. Yeah, and how intense this whole thing has been. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a part of the free Britney movement more so than I thought. Because I read this and I go, this has got to be from the other side, putting this through somehow. Maybe. Right? Maybe it is. I'm, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm uh, contra- well, not controversial. I'm having a conspiracy theory about the conservatory. There's Which is of- too bad because yeah. the other side is her family. Oh. You know, so. Uh, drama, drama I, I, everywhere. I prefer my drama to be fake. Thank you very much. And I'm assuming that. Oh, uh, good. Reality TV show. <laughs> Hurrah. <laughs> Below Deck, Sarah. Now you saw Below Deck, right? I hate that show. Oh, okay, you hated yeah, it. I, I thought don't you like it. Did you ever, ever once just get into it at all? Nope. Do you have a sister that got into it at nope. all? Oh, uh, uh-uh. I thought I sat here and you said that you were watching Below Deck. Well, I didn't know that they are into their ninth season. Yeah, it, they have nine seasons on Bravo. Wildly popular, but yeah. there's only so much room in my life for reality TV. Okay, and the Real Housewives. <laughs> you know, take up all of that space. I apologize because I thought maybe there was a show that you were familiar with, and I I was not because uh, they just have a new captain. Apparently, their captain, who was kind of a, a you know white haired gentleman with a white beard, yes, they've do they have him. some young hot guy now? Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. that's well, what all uh, that show is. Okay, that's, you know. <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's oh. a bunch of beautiful people. Why okay. do I want to watch a bunch of beautiful people walking around in bikinis? At least the housewives, at least I got a shot, like they're my age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I watch them, and I'm like, I could do that. Okay. I could totally fit into that thing. Oh, oh I see. All right. No, I, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm shocked that that show has been on, on Bravo so long that it's into its ninth season. Yeah. Uh, also, a little bit of uh, fun real estate news. The weekend, of course, who performed at the Super Bowl this year, I guess he uh, had a good uh, paycheck because he just bought a $70 million estate in Bel Air. $70 million. <gasps> wow. That'll make quite a weekend for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, Kim Wilde coming up. <laughs> hey, the- That's sweeping the nation. Who are you? Try to guess the famous celebrities in just three clues or less. Everybody put your hands together for your two hosts and your two players, Sarah and A-Train. Ow! Got uh, three-name fame going on this week. And uh, it's, you know, famous people that have three names. Uh, This person, I thought Australian, but she was born in England in 1948. Olivia Newton-John. Isn't that something? I don't think I got seven words out. (laughs) <laughs> Very good, Sarah. Yeah, I, I thought she was. Uh, I thought she was Australian. Uh, my, my, uh, my. Of course, next uh, clue was Newton, and then I didn't know that she was uh, with Electric Light Orchestra in her movie Xanadu. That was a lot of collaboration between her and Electric Light Orchestra. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Xanadu is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh. It was the Tubes, Aerosmith, ELO. Uh. Olivia Newton-John I, oh. and some other dancer guy who played the lead role uh, opposite Olivia Newton-John. I don't remember that guy's name, huh. but yeah, they were all in. They were all in the movie. Oh wow! I didn't know Aerosmith was in that movie. Yeah. Gee, I got to check that out. Oh my yeah, that, god! That's one where I just gone, huh? I knew Gene Kelly, the dancer, was in it, but that was that was all I knew about that. Aerosmith. Yeah, the tu- the tubes were amazing. The tubes <laughs> uh, into Aerosmith, I believe. Oh wow! Yeah. Or into Olivia Newton-John. It's all kind of mixing up in my mm. brain. But I, if you haven't seen that movie, it's a it's a classic. Yeah. It's filled with incredible music. Cliff Richard, I think, might have been involved in the musical accompaniment with okay. that particular film. But wow. anyway, uh, it is his birthday today. He is a rock star. He's always been a rock star. He was pushed out of his mama's womb as a rock, rock star in Staffordshire, England. Uh, he was born the same name that he has now. 
Huh? He has four children. It's not much that I can say about this guy without giving it away. Okay. Uh, we play him here on the shark. He just dominated the 60s and 70s. Uh, appeared on magazines. I could not believe they actually had clothes that were that small that he was able to fit into when I first saw this guy perform. Ah, okay. So he's a diminutive English superstar rock oh, star. Oh, he's not diminutive at all. Oh. He's a tall guy, but I couldn't believe that pants that he was wearing. I could not believe. Were that, were that uh, tight? Wow. Okay, tight trousers. I just, I could barely look, I gotta say. <laughs> He's known for his long hair. He is known for swinging his microphone around. Oh, very good. Uh, Roger Daltrey. Nope. No. (laughs) However, the same goes for Roger Daltrey. He kind of looks like Roger Daltrey. Oh, okay. You're in the right ballpark. Hmm. Um, I will uh, tell you, he just recently put out an album with Alison Krauss. Like last week. Oh, okay. Uh, Robert Plant? Robert Plant. Oh, nice. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Boy, yeah, they, they are kind of very similar. Their hair, like the way they would move. Yeah. Yep. Do you huh. know that he's got four kids? Huh. I knew he had uh, a couple of kids. I didn't know he had four. Yep. Hmm. Four children. I mean, that he knows of. <laughs> anyway, there you go. <laughs> Happy birthday to Robert. Happy birthday to you, too, if it's your birthday today. Have some cake. Insider Tom. Karen on the phone as he always is and Tom even the uh, hurricane what was the name of the hurricane again? Fred. Fred right (laughs) even Hurricane uh, Gales you know couldn't improve upon the Red Sox that's for sure. (laughs) No no, even the uh, strongest uh, category five win could not clear that up. Yeah bad week no doubt about it swept in New York and now you're on the outside of the playoffs looking in I mean there's a lot of baseball left 39 games uh, and a lot of those games, in fact, the majority of those games are against teams with losing records. So on the one hand, I think the schedule lays out in such a way that they still wind up making the playoffs as a wild card team. But I, until you can beat good teams, until you show us you can hit, uh, you know, against the Yankees or Tampa Bay Rays, <clears throat> those kind of teams, I, I, you know, it's hard to picture a deep run. So. They've got seven with the Rays coming up in a couple weeks. They've got games with the Yankees. Right now, you've got to beat, beat up the bad teams, beef up the schedule, uh, the, the record, and then uh, go after those guys again. Well, we're happy about the Patriots, too. They're looking pretty good. Last night was awesome. They did. Yeah, they, they look good. Listen, you can think you're going to come down and have Bill Belichick practice against your team for a week and then not keep the snot out of you, right? I mean, you give them, you give them a week to get to know what you're doing. <laughs> I would never... If I were one of these other NFL teams, uh, the Patriots, hey, want to come down to practice? Nah, I'm good. We'll right, find somebody else. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, but, yeah, no, and, you know, more importantly for Cam, Cam Newton looked good because he, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a quarterback battle. He came out and looked like a veteran who'd had enough of the rumors, enough of the controversy, uh, eight on nine, put a couple touchdowns up on the board. Uh, we know Bill is a guy who doesn't like controversy, who doesn't really like quarterbacks, and, Certainly seems like Cam's new guy, so I think last night just sort of solidified that Cam Newton's going to be your starting quarterback when this season begins. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm glad he's motivated by stuff like that, because Tom used to be that way, too. (laughs) All right, you're going to talk smack about me? Fine. Check this out. Yep. (laughs) You know? Exactly. Yeah, Yeah. check this out. I'll throw a Super Bowl trophy across the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's true. Uh All right, TC. Well, uh, how's my buddy Jim Rice doing? He's fine. Thanks for asking. He's on this week. He looks good. Good. Well, uh, tell him Sarah said hello. I will. I mean, one of these days, COVID will be over, and, you know, I'll, I'll give him a peck on the cheek for you. But all no, right. All right. Now. Yeah. No, not it's yet. a... I, I knew you... Th- variant is not here. I know. I know. I, I knew you thought that was returning, making a return, the kiss on the mouth. But, yeah, no, that's yeah, not no, going back no, yet. No, that's not it. No. Handshakes uh, are going back. Back to fist bumps and, uh, and, and, and air hugs. So, okay, all right, TC. Get. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you again next Friday. Thank you, guys. All right. Mm-hmm. See you later. See you. Bye. You know, we should have invited TC on the cruise on Tuesday. Yeah, get his name on the uh, Passenger Manifest, rocking out with Aunt Peg, 730, Tuesday night. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. If you want to go train, you just have a bunch of tickets hanging around the Shark Tank. Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. Call now, 877-45-SHARK. That's 877-457-4275. It's going to be a wicked fun cruise. We've got a lot of our friends going on this cruise. I do believe it may be the last one for this season. Yeah, there, um, there is a possibility, always a possibility for like a late September uh, cruise, but uh, this is pretty much the last schedule. This yeah, is it. So. Yeah, so if you want to go, of course, we're going to have lots of prizes to give away. Um, and we've got Smoky Quartz mm-hmm. coming on board with yeah. us. Lots of prizes from them. So 877-45-SHARK will put you on the list. The Sharks rocking a 